Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Why not just pull some energy? Fade the source here. That's somebody watching. Somebody needs to do some shadow work too. I was picking up on that. My card, my shadow work card was all bent. So somebody could be all bent out of shape because they're not doing the work. So you know. Yeah, something could have been a bad investment. But we're gonna see. Let's see. Judgment and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what's going on, Source? Four of Swords, Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords showed his face more than once. Sun card. Something's going to be illuminated that's going to help you to lay something to rest, or you may need to get some more rest. Uh, energy of something, a rest. I'm here, resting period, or. King of Cups in reverse. Oof. This is somebody who is emotionally manipulative. This could have been pertaining to someone who is very emotionally manipulative. Possibly even like sexually vindictive I'm hearing. Or like <laughs> sexually... They don't have good control over their sexual impulses. Because they have the Ace of Wands in reverse. But it didn't come out. So hmm, I'll just, am I going to take it? Ooh. Look what's coming out again though. The Page of Swords. So this maybe who's watching you could be a... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with this King of Cups in reverse or um, I've got confirmation on that. <laughs> or this is somebody who wants to stay hidden with the um, Hermit card and the Four of Pentacles or this is somebody who ghosted you at one point. You may have ghosted them, but they're watching you because, yeah, the energy of rejection here could be a Gemini here or a Virgo with a Magician. Every Virgo. You may have walked away from something or someone here. Maybe they were emotionally manipulative and I'm withholding secrets from you with the <laughs> the moon here. Something was hidden or something that... Uh, yeah. Something came to light. Four of Wands in reverse. There's something here with like a failed marriage or a failed like it just wasn't built on. Yeah, somebody's worried about like you choosing a new path or maybe this person was trying to slow you down or something like that. Lovers in a heavy air sign energy. This person is worried about you choosing a new path. Five of Swords. But this person could have been like secretly competing with you or like, oh, I'm hearing envious, spiteful, not who they say they are. Ten of Wands. This could have been very draining. Somebody could be feeling very defeated right now. Empress, because they see that you're very stable, that you're very focused, that you're very independent. You don't need them. But this person could have been like very, uh, something here. I don't know why with the King of Swords and the King of cups in reverse this person could have been withholding some type of i don't know why i'm hearing information also withholding um a truth withholding emotion which caused an ending or five of you may have ghost again like ghosting something because you something that you may have found out or something that you've been waiting on is coming in though <laughs> Yeah, sun card came out again. Could be a fire sign. Somebody wants to make an offer or something's going to come to light. But somebody's been like obsessing over this or you could be. Yeah, somebody could be a Capricorn here. Pisces. It's Libra. But um, trust your intuition. It's, especially when it's revealing something toxic to you here. something that's going to come in rather quickly maybe you're not going to be expecting this it's actually going to help to bring justice in for you confirmation so it's like the it's something the time's up for something in your life that was like either keeping you in a stagnant energy prolonging something for you look again like it's something about your independence that you're walking into with the nine of pentacles underneath it again this justice card here because this is divine justice for you to receive this. I just heard like a lot of water. So there's something about a cleansing or some type of purging that's happening in your life. Will of fortune because this is a destined, ch destined change. You could be a water sign. 
or it just changed. It's like. I feel like y'all gonna be coming off very more so stable, especially like within your soul, but financially, no, yeah, especially if you were going back and forth on like rejecting something here or y'all may be going towards a lover situation. I was asking what y'all going towards, and this came out again with the King of Swords and the Lovers. So this may be somebody that you're choosing to work on something with. Heavy Gemini energy. We got the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Magician. So this may be somebody that you're choosing. Let me get some information on this person. What's, what's the facts? So we do have temperance. Like I said, y'all, you may be choosing to balance a situation out with this person. Possibly. Also could mean Sagittarius could be significant. But um also could mean <laughs> y'all could choose y'all close choose close out of cycle with this person. Um because it could be two different people. The King of Cups could be somebody totally different for some of y'all, and that this could be the same person. Two Two of those kings that came out could be the same as that person. Because some of y'all, these are two different people. That king of cups is somebody from your past who withheld their emotions from you, who was like very, you know, um, emotionally manipulative. I'm here withdrawn on purpose to make you more so want to fiend for them. Or But this person here, this king of swords energy could be a new person more so who wants to balance things out with you um, and start a new cycle with you. Or this could be you guys choosing to close out a cycle on this person altogether or these people. It could be two different people you were dealing with. I see the energy of somebody going within to really reflect about an ending, though. A transformation. Okay. I'm going to take that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like y'all going to finally make a decision on something that I feel like is keeping you in a very like, indecisive energy. Why were you so indecisive, the moon? Because you were, like, maybe there was some type of anxiety or fear related to it. Again, something could have been hidden. It's the pentacles. But somebody sees you as, like, a stable offer or very stable. But the tower, the moon, the tower, something was hidden that came to light. This is all about some type of revelation. Sudden, So y'all could have been, like, had an epiphany moment or you were going back and forth on something. Um, could have been avoiding a tower even. But a relationship. This could even have to do with, like, communicating in a relationship. I feel like something came, something came to light that caused a tower moment, though. What is this? Something that maybe you you received in reflection. Three of Swords. What? Hold on now. Okay, so y'all may have pulled your energy back because of a recent tower moment that you was going through. You could secretly be feeling heartbroken over this. Something hurt you. This could even have to do with a relationship that you're in. Something came to light or something's going to come to light. Um, This could be you really, like, maybe you just went into hermit mode or just in solitude. This doesn't even have to be about a relationship. Two of Cups could be like a friendship or something. You, I mean, Two of Cups usually is like a relationship, but, like, keep an open mind. It don't have to be. <laughs> Hell no. Let me get some more of this. Mm. Thank you so much for clearing the energy. I'm going to put some more forms for you guys. And the ill intents. I'm just going to count food. And the water. Because something here could have been like. <laughs> in reverse somebody wanted to have like full control over something here somebody had like control issues could be an aries so somebody from your past this could be about somebody from your past that wants to come back around something here was like something about this could be like a boss figure doesn't have to be but the, the emperor here could be somebody especially in reverse baby you don't want no parts of that five of swords baby come on come on now three of swords this person kept you in your heart space like in a low vibration though um a lot of swords really not more even in your heart space it's like the illusion of being in your heart space but more so in your head and i feel like this was like a, to, to control you the emperor in reverse again the king of cups is coming out and i it, it was going to come out in reverse again but the way it fell on the floor it kind of came out on the upright but it's something here like this person was withholding like their their emotions this person is very emotionally manipulative I'm not lying. 
Four of Wands, Five of Cups. Now, if somebody is in heavy regret because something is like on hold here or they hung themselves, the hangman, they put themselves in the hangman position. Two of Swords. They may have not seen this coming or they just want to keep you in mental conflict, mental confusion. Ace of Swords on my mother. Come on now. But you figured it out or if you're going, something's going to come to light. Somebody might even tell you something. Empress. Look, again, you came out again as the Empress. You're so much in your power. This person was like a false divine masculine and heavy like... Because this is coming out as a masculine. This is not coming out as a feminine doing this shit. This is coming out as a fucking masculine doing this shit. This could be somebody that you were in a relationship with or that was you were in a connection with. You no longer want to work on something with somebody or you going to... You because somebody could have been breadcrumbing you, been very fucking selfish, not giving you what you deserve, wanting you to... It's something here or something was an illusion. They were trying to give you, feed you illusions or something like that. But you're going to have some type of truth. You standing in your power is what's going to give you like more confidence or more shit yeah to protect yourself to like kind of be in an energy of like resilience the more you stand in your power is going to be empowering for you to like release this this could be like your this is what source has been you may get a lot of, i'm hearing like signs and synchronicities You may have a new love coming in with the Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups. Something about your confidence growing. Or this could be, some of y'all, this may be same sex. Could be a fire sign. But uh, Ace of Cups. So this may be, yeah, you're you going to have somebody coming in that's, or something here that's going to start something new for you. Could even be within yourself. But this other person is like, um, could be guarded towards you. You need to just like, within your energy towards them but you see how she's still putting that crown on her head so it's like this person did not knock you off again this is like the same queen in this photo so this may be you this just you this could be a, a new sense of self your love for self maybe you were supposed to learn something through this situation with this knight of wands and heal from it and really like you know it's just supposed to help you again to realize more about your self-worth and i get again i'm hearing stop dealing with um low tier situations or stop settling for less when you know you deserve better or something pertaining to like you wasn't receiving what you know you deserve queen of wands nine of wands this is the same queen in this photo something about the color purple is significant you may be like very royal somebody may be a fire sign but you got a new love coming in this may be yeah after an ending a scorpio may be significant Some type of communication coming in. Could be a fire sign. About a betrayal. Somebody could be trying to like communicate about a betrayal to you. So somebody, like I said, somebody could come in and actually tell you this information. About something that was keeping you stuck in a situation. The uh Knight of Pentacles, Devil, Capricorn could be significant, heavy, earth energy. But I'm definitely feeling like something here was slowing you down or trying to restrict you. The whole time is like it was a lot of like backstabbing energy here. Could have been like a whole, I'm hearing like three people, triangulation, something here. Three of Pentacles. Some type of collaboration. Oh, I don't know if I just heard a threesome for somebody. Jesus. Hope nobody was out here having threesomes behind your back. Seven of Swords. Look, somebody rushed and did something, took a leap of faith. Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, and did something like sexual with somebody else. Heavy third party energy with this. I was going to say Capricorn. So a Capricorn could be significant. This could have happened to a Capricorn. A Capricorn could have been a third party. But, oh, baby, Seven of Swords. Something in here is like, look, Queen of Pentacles. So somebody could have rushed and did something to a Queen of Pentacles. Some card, yes. I'm getting like, yes. But just only, like, help you to move forward into, a, like, a new direction or to move. Mm. Would you look at that? And you're going to, like, leave something out on the cold. Like, I'm I'm really getting that. And somebody's going to want to come in and apologize or, like, throw a star card. Once they see, like, you're healing something or you've been doing the work or... They just... This person also sees you as a, as a star, period. But it's like... This person... Man... They have control issues. This could have been a very dominant person. Man, look, I cut the deck at the devil again. This could have been a Capricorn or a Togi. But happy Capricorn energy is something here where somebody could have been, again, their own worst enemy 
or slowing themselves down something here was toxic somebody's gonna be in regret about this this could be a this could really be a, a i was gonna say cancer pisces cancer scorpio water sign who now is like in love or anyways i do want to pull a couple more that because why was the ten of cups just out here hiding and i didn't even know that came out or was out so something about the ten of your ten of cups is going to come but let's see. now we got the emperor in the upright Uh-uh, baby. You, I feel like you're going to be done with a situation. You're going to be done with a situation. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, you're going to get something new. You're going to be done. You're going to be done. Because I keep seeing this Ten of Swords. Somebody here is like, look, again, Four of Wands, of Race, Crack, a failed relationship, failed marriage, false twin flame, false twin. Um, Six of Cups, this is somebody from your past, though, or somebody that you you going to release. is something that failed here, maybe not even got off the ground. Something was, no, I got off the ground because something was a secret here or something was hidden. But I feel like you're going to, man, and this is why your Ten of Cups is coming out now. A lot of Tens. Ten of Wands. Y'all see the way this is coming out. Ten of Cups. Tens are about completion. It's closing out cycles. Ten, ten. This is what your intuition has been screaming at you to do. To hold back your treasure that you are. Your light that you are. Because something here wasn't fucking right. Something here wasn't right. Ten of Swords. Somebody, something about pimples is significant. Four of Swords. You laying something to rest, baby. Four. And I see another four. That's four, four, four. But something that you are protected. Forty-four. Number 44 could be significant. Two of Cups. If that's what you wanted, that's what you're going to get. But Pisces energy could be significant. Your intuition is telling you to hold back from something or someone. Yes, it may hurt, but it's redirecting you towards a new beginning. Because it's something here that you may not be fully seeing completely. Or fully, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like Source said what Source said. 333. Three, three. Let me read this thing. Somebody may be getting stomach aches. You're very mystical. This person sees you as very mystical or the light that's kind of reflected off these cards. You have a very radiant aura, a very radiant light to you. Something about the alignment. Something is coming into alignment for you right now. Self-love because you're choosing to love yourself. Something here wasn't in alignment with you. And it was a test of your self-love. And when you show the universe that you love yourself, the universe is going to show you what's up. 12-12. Maybe seeing this angel number a lot, or you will begin to. It says stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. Somebody's already in motion. You're already in motion to be in who you already been, you who you are. I am focused. So you're living your dream life to bring something into alignment with you. Three, three, three. Somebody could have been trying to throw you off path, throw you off focus, but you weren't meant to like inspire others or inspire yourself to to bring about some type of change right, this is the title card hmm. so what about relationships you have a talent for mentoring or counseling relationships having the ability to guide others so you may have like something about relationships i also feel like a lot of people want to be in a relationship with you a lot of people feel like very to, even if they are in relationships they they'd be ready to like take it there because it's just something very mystical and different about your energy that they really can. It's like you almost two, two, two. It's something about the way you're so balanced too, or the way you like. People know you will be a good lover, even if they not. If that makes sense. And that could be why this energy is coming out. You know, during your reading about how you your self love. But it's something here. Some of y'all may be relationship counselors, therapists. I don't know. Number fifty five could be significant. Angel number fifty five, master number. I am evolving. So you're definitely on the path to evolving. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. This is actually two, two, two. So watch your thoughts right now. Something is manifesting very quickly for you guys. So please be careful of what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're doing. Don't entertain shit that ain't got shit to do with nothing. I mean, and what's crazy is I've been realizing a lot of people have been trying to argue with me lately. I'll be shutting that shit down. Why am I finna, I'm not finna argue with you? Like, no, we're not. This is what we're not going to do because... It takes too much energy. It takes too much time. So something here about you mastering yourself with this 55. So it's some type of change within yourself because you're evolving. It says here, I am evolving. 666 is about reflection. That's that hermit energy that kept coming out. A Virgo could be significant. But I definitely get the sense that you are centering yourself. It says here, I am centered. So something may have been imbalanced at one point. People, a certain person could have been trying to throw you off balance. The past could have been throwing you off balance. That could even be why the shadow work card is here. You needed to do shadow work or go within and heal with something that was keeping you stagnant. 
666 is just about reflecting, um, redirecting. So something here is a redirection where you may be on pause right now because something you need to get censored. This could even be, I'm hearing root chakra energy where you need to ground yourself. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. Somebody's vibration was, you were in your root chakra, you were in the lowest, you know, it's different chakras, but that was one of the lower ones. And I feel like it's good sometimes when you know how to balance it, but if you stay there too long, like materialistic things, like stuff that don't matter, like that, like money, the root of all, you know, that type of stuff is like, if you have an imbalanced or unaligned root chakra. So these cards are telling me that something is coming into alignment for you. But um, you could have just needed to reevaluate your priorities or what you were focused on, okay? A mirror, so this may be your mirror moment or maybe um, this could be the person. I'm definitely getting this is self work, shadow work. So I'm not getting this is about anybody else but self right now. This is resonating. It could be, you want somebody else to be mirroring each other though, y'all wounds. But you are also a mirror to other people. Something's being mirrored to you at this time. <clears throat> Something's being mirrored, excuse me. Something's being mirrored to you at this time. I also feel like you may need to be more compassionate to yourself and others right now. Hearing that. Because you were like, I'm also hearing, you, you may not know how your words may affect other people. Or like, you know. Oh, it's kind of got sad. Yeah, confirmation. <laughs> 11 11 sometimes it'll get i'm a capricorn i'm not even gonna sit here and i'm a capricorn with a cancer moon though so the cancer moon be saving my ass i have a gemini rising baby sometimes that air then with that capricorn I just, uh, sometimes i'm just like bro Un unassuming sometimes it's just really just whew. but i really am an empath so i can feel other people's emotions that's the sickest part about it like i might not fully when i say something or when i Especially if it's just some retaliation. I, what's crazy is I still end up feeling hurt when I hurt somebody's feelings. Sick. Sick. Not all the time, but many times. Most of the time. You know, because, again, something about this mirroring energy is significant. Like, you know, the people you come in contact with may be a mirror for you. or You're very otherworldly, it says. You're soft and gentle. Your power is in silence. So, something about your silence. People feel like you're a tease. Again, like I said, people, even people in relationships be wanting to, like, test you out even thinking about risking it all i'm hearing so this could be the why this person at one point i'm here for some of y'all this is why somebody was kind of breadcrumbing you or holding back from you because they were connected to someone else i don't know where that just came from this person could have felt like he was teasing them i don't even know where the hell i literally just got like a download but um yeah fearless you got boss like energy this could be somebody's boss i feel like it's just you and because of your fearlessness to actually take leaps of faith and test the waters and bet on yourself every time this is why you're going to be a boss i'm feeling like you're going to be like you're going to go further than a lot of people you know like some i'm just hearing like you have your shit together, being precisely who you are and in hot pursuit of your goals that cap captivate and inspire others. So it's something about, I'm also hearing like the, the, um, the breadwinner. You're in the flow of something. Look at all these angel numbers, 777, clairsentience, mind power. Somebody's intelligence is being heightened. You have the ability to feel deep into situations, places, or people sensing something beyond the physical realm. You're very gifted too. You're di divergent. So the movie may be significant to somebody, but you don't fit. A, you don't fit a certain mold. This is why so many people, you know, they don't know how to perceive you. And I say this. This comes up a lot in my um, readings because I do feel like I talk to a certain group of people on a certain frequency. I feel like don't change nothing about yourself, even if people try to make you feel weird or slighted. Peace and tranquility is coming in. It's because um, they know that you're different. People know that something about you is like going to be very like inspiring, inspirational, captivating, like that card said, but also like very successful. Even if they don't quite know exactly how your your future is going to pan out, I'm telling you. And it, look, I'm, I'm going to take it because looking for dirt on you. This could be these same people could be like looking for dirt on you. This could be somebody that got dropped. Or somebody dropped them and this could be like karmic energy that somebody left them to come towards you and now they're like looking for dirt on you or this is just somebody you could have dropped. Come on now, these cards going crazy. Somebody could be going crazy. We got victim mentality. 
what's going on source a celeb or very influential person is watching you like i said don't change nothing about yourself honestly i i was here my whole life <laughs> i was hearing somebody who need to click look <laughs> i do <laughs> i do i mm, damn I was hearing that somebody needs to clean up their act a little bit or something like that. I'm not even going to take that card. That's a distraction. Ignore all distractions. He said, we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. So I'm not going to be in physical or spiritual jail, though, a time out. But you do have very influential eyes on you. So, again, the color purple could be significant, baby. Let me find out uh, Whoopi Goldberg or someone. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Let me find out she's watching a channel. I don't know why I just thought of the movie The Color Purple. That's the only person I know by name on there. For real. So, okay. Spiritual offense. This upset the divine. Because you know, I don't know what was this going on. I just had like a bling. Something upset the divine that somebody did against you or to attack you. This could be, again, this victim mentality person. This person that stays in a victim mentality. But let me tell you one thing. What was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. I guess I'm not going to tell y'all a damn thing. Just know. <laughs> this person I'm saying to the five. It could have been trolling you a lot or just doing a lot. Just, you know what I'm saying? Something about black magic. Maybe it's again. It did come out in reversal. You know, it failed. It returned to Cinder. Um, you're an earth angel. You've unlocked your potential. You have untapped potential too that you're still unlocking. But you're more powerful than you know. Somebody could like try to cut other people off or to, to boost their ego or to make themselves feel better but it should fucking look if somebody tries to ghost you or to make you feel shitty look you're part of the 144 so source has a plan for you either way it goes source got a plan for everybody little people know whether you know. it's really your own actions that kind of you know so it's like whatever said it karma you are you're chosen though your ancestors are blessing you what can y'all expect to come towards y'all wow a fake apology, blame game, no accountability. So somebody's let they never take accountability. And if they do, it's it's just to tell you what you want to hear. But this person always gives you fake apologies or they're very fucking fake. Hmm? Cause again, spiritual jail is coming out. Or this could even be physical. Somebody could be getting locked up, but we got social media, many options. Somebody's watching you on social media, they may feel like you got many options, or this person may have many options. But this person is not the one for you. Again, somebody needs to do some shadow work. Okay, so I asked in my head, why is somebody giving you a fake apology? And then I feel like the... Okay, so third eye chakra came out, period. So this is about your intuition. Somebody wants to throw your intuition off. But I feel like it came out in reverse. Again, they want to throw your intuition off. You may be spot on about something. Look, peace and tranquility is coming. This came out again, purple. Somebody knows that you're heading towards a peaceful path. Or I'm telling you, I just don't have to be about love because I keep hearing that this could be about anybody that was in your life. And they're going to come towards you. I just heard when you least expect it too. But this is somebody who wants to like gain your trust. Or they want to just... Fill your head up with whatever just to throw your fucking intuition off. Somebody's going to be getting a new job here. but Somebody's holding on to you, but you're highly protected. Again, not the one for you. Somebody's really just not the one for you. Greater is coming. Heart chakra. So something about uh, a higher love. A greater love. Somebody may be pregnant soon. Okay. Somebody, mm -mm, you may be, be very careful what you're telling somebody while you turn your location off. Somebody don't always want you to turn your location off, but this person may want to know where you're at. But be very care careful what you're telling somebody. Uh, look, especially if they want to know your location, you know, here, like, where you at? Why? Why you want to know that? <laughs> Spiritual upgrades and enhances. Because spirit wants you to see some shit here, but that's also because you've been doing some type of inner child healing it's definitely an energy of fraud here somebody could be trying to do some type of credit card fraud or insurance fraud or this person is a fraud period i cut others off for an ego boost somebody was like trying to cut you off to be to, to be just to let their ego just win or to like you but it's that fraudulent energy who was like could have been emotionally manipulating you but you did the work and was healing your inner child or now it's time for you to do that so you can call in this loyal devoted um commitment God will make a way when there is no way. Divine masculine God. So I may be talking to the divine masculine. Or this is you getting confirmation that, yes, your divine masculine is going to come in. Yes, they're going to be in their divine power. But first, you have to do the work. So something may, a divine masculine may be having an ending in his life. 
Maybe your dreams are trying to convey a message to you. Wow, we got Divine Feminine here as well now. So about your Divine Feminine. Y'all may be dreaming of each other. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine may be dreaming of each other at this time. So I got an energy of you can't beat them, join them, not sincere. So again, careful because I do feel like somebody's going to be giving you like a fake apology once they see that you're either moving on. Look at this, you guys. Two-faced and can't be trusted. I'm trying to tell you what the fuck I know. Somebody could have like a false reader around them too or a false like, I just heard misinformation. This person could be like a spiritualist or a practitioner or somebody that just don't know what the fuck they're doing. But again, if you can't beat them, join them. Somebody only want to be in your energy because they know that they cannot defeat you. They know that they cannot. They know that where you're going, they're not. They're not up. They're not finna. It's like somebody knows that where you're going, they they aren't. In a, they're not going there or they are not. They don't share the same path as you or something like that. So that's why they want to join you. This person could have already tried to go against you and they they noticed that wasn't going to work. Somebody does want to love you, but they're too guarded. It's going to be a very jealous, possessive lover. You got to cut the grass. It was a snake here. Somebody's going to be receiving very bad karma. Again, cut the ties with this person. I feel like you've been crowned. Um, you know, it is what it is. Again, you've been crowned. So I do feel like... Um, Ooh, yeah, reevaluate a situation. Like Aries may be significant. Heavy Aries. You know, oof. Opposition. Something that was causing an opposition or imbalance in your life is going to come to balance. So we have craft. This can have to do with your craft. Some, I'm also getting the vibes that somebody was throwing evil eye at your craft, especially if you're like an entrepreneur or you do something in the public eye where Virgo energy is perfectionist energy. You, you focus on this a lot. You're very, you don't play about your craft or some type of good luck is coming in for you because you've been seven of pentacles energy. You've been investing in something. You've been alchemizing something. You know how to alchemize the energy. You know how to manipulate or yeah, manipulate the energy. You know how to, I really was trying to say manifest and manipulate came out of my mouth. So somebody here could be like a heavy energy manipulator, but I'm also getting like, that's not a bad thing because when you hear manipulate, it's like a negative connotation. But when you, somebody else, like when I said it, the energy I felt like <laughs> you may be realizing somebody was trying to manipulate you. But something about your, or somebody could try to manipulate the energies around your craft, your work, um, your job, your success, your finances, your business. Your, your your YouTube, whatever it is that you do, somebody could have been trying to send negative energy or hope that it fails. Because I'm seeing like black obsidian in this. Um, so this is about protection. You're protected anyway or your craft because it's your divine path. This could have to do with your diet as well. Somebody could have been wanting you to like um, something about your skills. They didn't want you to brush up or work towards that. But I'm also getting like this is what's coming into balance for you. Especially if like you're a Virgo. Or this could have been a Virgo doing this or this could have been happening to a Virgo. Allow something to flow. Something about the communication that's coming through is going to be very free-flowing. I'm also getting, pay attention to your dreams. You, a Pisces may be significant. I'm really in my crown shock right now. I can see. Open my third eye. So you guys are in a very free spirit of energy right now. Or you may be traveling soon. Very soon. Something about you needed to just flow again. Like you Sagittarian energy. You could be a Sagittarius or you have to see your chart heavy. So I'm a rising Venus. Something about Beyonce. Somebody could be going to a Beyonce concert or a Renaissance could be significant. I also feel like you're going to be gaining something. Like somebody's saving money. Somebody's building their, somebody's building on something. You could be building your credit. Again, surrender. It's like you're no longer going to be in the energy of worry. A Gemini being significant. A Gemini and a Sagittarius. Something about yourself, your sense of self. Capricorn, hmm. baby. So I do feel like you're on the edge of some type of revolution, some type of wisdom that you're receiving about something here. A breakthrough, some type of, um. So you're, I feel like something that you're going towards, especially with this Capricorn energy, you with your craft, your business, something heavy earth energy. Something is going to be very, rev it's like very life changing I'm hearing for you, but also you're the original. You're going to do something very original. Sagittarian energy, you're going to do something very original, the sun. And I feel like this is going to change so much. You may have Scorpio in your chart or you just like, check your verdict, Vedic, I mean, verdict. Something about court may be significant. I feel like if you have a court situation, that's also going to go in your favor. It's going to rule in your favor. Somebody else is going to be guilty or this is spiritual court. I'm hearing like verdict. Wow. 
lusty Ooh, some people may see you as very lusty you may be seeing a lot of snakes this is also if you've been seeing like a lot of videos of snakes too this is like pretending to like some type of rebirth or shedding that you're going through with saturn energy daddy saturn daddy karma especially if you got like saturn placements baby yeah this good karma is coming in for you you have reached a breakthrough saturn return i'm here somebody your life is going to pick up on your setting around your saturn return Somebody's like really going into their darker feelings. Aquarius, Libra, or Cancer may be significant. Oh, I just heard self-sabotage. So something may have been a challenge here. Come on, spirit. I was going to say be for real. But it's going to it's gonna bring an opportunity. I'm hearing like through the challenges comes like. Yeah. So again, it could be for a Gemini. First house. Could be somebody's. No, or Leo. But it's like some type of change that you're going to go through. It's going to teach you a lot about yourself. And it's also going to present new opportunities towards you that you may not have seen before because you were so focused on a challenge. Perception. You just needed to change your perception. Period. You were too focused. Maybe you're just too passionate. Empowerment. But you're going to feel very empowered when you focus on your passions. Your passions, I'm hearing. Maybe you were focusing on something that just, you know, it wasn't. <laughs> was it? you may have been passionate about it but was it passionate about you and you may have been very because again maybe your perception was just on the wrong thing your focus was on the wrong thing you needed to turn inward and then what look illuminator is something that's being illuminated to you about your own life you may have very healing shaman like energy jesus i didn't even mean to pick this one up with it but 888 so shout out to my nigga Gucci. Nah, <laughs> Gucci make up a significant, but I definitely feel like money. 888 is abundance because maybe somebody's realizing that I am the light. It's like you, you, you be having to come back to your senses. I'm hearing something about your own. Maybe a lot of people be trying to project onto you. You're very sexually healing as well. I'm hearing, especially for these people in your past that tried to break from you, but they thought that keeping you at bay or keeping you at a distance would like make you want them more. 666 again trying to slow you down but it only brought you into balance something is going to slow you down to bring you into balance though to also bring these enhances and upgrades your way but spirit is really wanting you to examine your thoughts and your frequency right now make sure that you're keeping it as positive as you can not even on no toxic positivity shit but like don't be in that energy of just victim mentality and staying in the staying in the bullshit and just oh i just want to you know you know what i'm saying learn from um shit learn from the lessons right learn from what you're going through i guess i could say don't just let shit keep happening over and over that's how you stay in cycles it was, it just came out again boss and tease so somebody really feels like you're a tease you got like boss like energy and it turns them the fuck on so somebody this is like your boss <laughs> Because that energy, let's be honest, it came out before. Somebody likes that you got two different sides, light and dark. Like, this person may have seen your dark side before, but they also like that you're a sweetheart or your, or your light side. Angel. What did that card say? You're an earth angel. This person loves that about you, femininity. And you're very feminine. Something very feminine, very um, very pink. It's pink on this card. Very, like, girly about you, I'm hearing. Girlish charm, mature sensuality. So you draw people in without even knowing it. Zero, 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 so... You are creating something new. You are a moon goddess. Some of y'all need to start paying attention to like the transits, the moons. And like some of y'all may be getting more into alignment or um, astrology, I mean to say. This is, I don't really use my astrology deck that much, but um, this is my astro deck. So somebody may be getting more into like astrology. Could be an earth sign I'm speaking to. Or you could be very connected to the element of earth. Something about dimension travel. You may have thought you couldn't like, um, I was going to say time travel. Damn, somebody really gifted. But you may have thought you couldn't like um, astral project. Time doesn't exist too. So let's also keep an open mind about that. I was thinking about that today. Everything is just crazy. That's why you know this shit's just, look. Come on now. Where did that card go? But y'all just saw zero, zero, zero come out. Saw her somewhere. Cut the deck at zero, zero. Source is trying to set you up to look a clean slate. Start fresh so we can build a rouser. Baby, you turning somebody on. Your intelligence, your intellect, your wit. But um, anyways, goddamn. See, like, in the middle, arouse. Like, you just arousing somebody. I'm hearing, like, you don't even be trying. You're very tactful. Somebody watches, like, your progress. I don't... Somebody could have watched you go through some very hard times. Education. You need to further your education. Somebody wanna, may want to put you through school. 
celebrations. We're gonna have a celebration, something about a first lady, maybe significant or y'all may be like getting married. Somebody's getting married soon or engaged. Or something about like the celebration. Somebody could be graduating. Gina Gina. Genealogy. Come on now. Okay. Oof. Somebody's like an artist or something you do is art. Yeah, something that you do for like your talent, your craft. I also feel like that's your art. It, it, somebody's going to have twins. I just got confirmation because I just saw a video of twins before I did this reading. So, I don't know. I don't know source. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's auntie may have twins or uh, your auntie may be a twin. But uh, I don't really see what else. I'm going to pull some closing cards. Leave it at that, I guess. This is some quick channel messages. What direction they collecting needs to be going into? What the hell's going on? Okay. So what I feel like the energy is showing me is y'all need to let go, surrender. From something that was keeping you in your head. I could be speaking to a masculine, maybe possibly a fire sign or somebody that was dealing with a fire sign. Something with a, possibly a Scorpio or a Pisces. Something that was keeping you in your head. Something that was keeping you like, or you or could be speaking to somebody dealing with these signs. What the fuck? Something was a burden, period. That was a burden more than it was like a benefit. Um, This could have been a job. I just saw the Eight of Pentacles. Something here, you could have been keeping this to yourself. Like it's just, I'm also feeling like, the way to fix this is to end this shit. The death. There's going to be a rebirth here. I feel like somebody's going to get more rest. It's, your soul is going to feel more rested because you're going to let a cycle close out. Or you're going to, this shit is like, I just felt like rejuvenation. Something is turning. Like you were just attached to an old cycle, but now it's going to be turning and it's going to feel, because I'm seeing in my third eye like this, a wheel turning with cobwebs turning off of it too. Like you're ready to turn that. Maybe something took a long time, but you're finally learning the lesson. It's like you're you're standing on it with the hierophant here. It could be a Taurus. Somebody wants to invest in like an earth sign because now the shit is coming out in the upright. Queen of Pentacles could be a cancer. Somebody might want to invest in a cancer. But um, it's like also this could be you going towards your own stability. Some of you have been um, manifesting a new home, a new apartment, a new move stability but something about your intuition telling you that something is coming in for you and like i'm telling y'all how i see it is going to be your divine masculine i just try and grab all these cards together the king of pentacles with the emperor came out this is your divine masculine because they're, they're now going to be listening to their intuition no longer holding back from you this person gonna be coming in quickly four of wands could be a twin don't have to be but you saw that mirror energy very well could be very well could be you could be a um earth sign Capricorn or Sagittarius. But the heavy on the counterpart, okay? Especially if somebody was like holding back from you before or lovers. Could have been because of a love situation. I asked why was they holding back. Maybe they were making a choice on you. But this person, listen, six of cups, maybe a past life uh, soulmate or past life situation or maybe you dealt with them in the past. Um, but six, six of cups and the Justice is your divine justice, Ace of Cups. Somebody's name may be justice, but this is what you deserve. Spirit already called judgment on this situation. This is also going to be very protected, this relationship. They love how independent you are and how you do not put up with illusions or like you could see through illusions. It's something about your energy that's very like tower-like too. Scorpionic like maybe. Maybe you're a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. You bring balance to situations, but you also, I'm hearing like, I'll knock all this shit over. It's kind of like your energy, duality to it. Temperance in the world card again. But you also have like a very strong uh, magicianry energy, alchemist energy, maybe very kind of like witchy. This person may kind of like that as well. But I'm getting like also something, this person likes that you could see through manipulation. Like you could see, I don't know, they could even, I don't know if this person tried to manipulate anyone at one point. I don't think this person did. I really feel like this is a new person. Ace of Swords. This is a new person. This is not nobody from your past. Okay. All right. Somebody's going to kind of be in the energy of like conflict to see that you're moving towards Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. 
is going to cause like some conflict that you're walking away or you're choosing to finally walk away. Maybe you were always trying to make something work or why is this causing conflict? Three of Wands. So somebody's going to be like waiting on you to come back or this person may have been waiting on you or they were trying to keep you waiting. Eight of Cups. Yeah, but you walked away. Or this person could have walked away on you. That's what have been why they caused this type of mouth. You may have walked away from this person and now they're going to be stuck waiting on you. Six of Swords because you're moving into common waters. Like you're going to make a decision to like Four of Cups this, reject this sh shit. Because like, no. You know, like I choose me, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. And the same person, I was going to say people. So it may be more than one person involved are watching you progress. And this is kind of like, this gets under their skin. <laughs> why? Why does this... Cause they see that you're happy nine of cups they see that you're emotionally fulfilled that you love what you do that it's not a gimmick that it's not a game that you're not fake that you're really true that you're really you period what you talking about put me on the label put me on the track right now <laughs> but <laughs> these people whoever this person is per people they hate that you're so happy you're radiant you're just you're just happy in your own skin i'm also getting like you don't even need a lot to like stand out you don't gotta wear certain things you don't gotta look certain. you know what i'm saying you could just be yourself and you still stand out a lot of these people, I saw the Seven of Cups, they wear masks. They draw heavy illusions, you know, fake shit to be liked. And you don't have to do any of that. And people still fuck with you and they wonder, how? Hierophant, how? These could be people that be like fake ass, fucking, again, a fake spiritual, fake religious. Really, this is like religious, but like fake just fucking, it didn't come out in reverse, but very immature, I feel like, when it comes to like, they try to act like they, you know, very much so, it's the way you shine, baby. This is what they hate. And especially if, like, I'm also getting too, especially if you're a spiritual teacher or a leader and you actually are confident, you actually are very fucking uh, genuine. You actually are very much so the real deal. It's a hermit because you went within, you've done the work, you've been an esoteric, like, guide. You're an old soul as well. You've already um, balanced or you've already gone to battle with your shadow. The Wheel of Fortune, Death card, Scorpionic energy all throughout this reading because just like you were not afraid to tackle your dark side, Ace of Swords. There may be a King of Swords here in your energy that's in love with you. Could be an air sign. You may be an air sign. But you're going to get some type of clarity here. King of Queen of Swords. Some of y'all may be choosing. Oh, this, this King of Swords did come out twice. I ain't going to lie. And every time they do come out, they be, they be having this little, little this be dumb. So I do want to see what's going on. You know, funny business. It may be conflict between you and somebody that you're building with. Okay. Because this is coming out again. Excuse me. Hold on. Some of y'all may be going back and forth on a new path or choosing a love. A love, a new love or an old love or something here. King of Queen of Swords could be like a very highly intellectual, intellectual co uh, connection or two people that have to turn their backs on each other. One of the two. But it could be due to some type of con conflict. I've just heard competition or... Could have been a third party with the Queen of Wands here, but I do see the Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. So somebody was going back and forth on something. Somebody could have been very undecided or they were juggling you for a sexual connection. This could have been why things were moving slowly. Or somebody could have been struggling financially, but I don't get that Nine of Wands. This is definitely somebody could have taken a leap of faith and now they... How does this person feel about it? They feel, hey, man, they feel like they hung themselves. They feel like they set themselves up by doing this. They feel foolish. And Aquarius could be significant or Pisces. Seven of Swords because they know what they did was, it was dumb. And I get the sense that this person did something quick. But they were coming towards you slowly or they were, they were, they were, or not. There was like, this could even be like giving, taking action. Something could have slowed down because they feel like they hung themselves. Something could have came to a halt because this person impulsively did some sneaky shit at one point. Come on now. And we give it to somebody else outside of a relationship or a connection or could have been a fucking king of wands. Let's be for real. Could have been a, a fire sign because we got, man, we, at this point we got everything. Or this person could have been very toxic. Capricorn energy out here. Restrictions. They're restricted to something. I don't, I don't know. This person could be very materialistic. What is the restriction? Okay, because now we're being nosy. What's the restriction? Some type of third-party energy. We got the uh, strength card, Leo energy. I just heard somebody's, somebody's friends could even enable very toxic behaviors within them. Possibly of drinking or seven of cups, three of cups, seven of cups. Some of like toxic or could encourage like cheating.
something pertaining to a third party too man what let's close this out you're gonna close this out you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna find this is that person maybe spirit just wants to explain why you need to leave them out in the cold because this is This person is watching you. I feel like this person is still watching you. If this person, this could be why you turned your back on somebody in a relationship and now they're still watching you. Why? Because now they feel stuck and burdened. And defeated. Because you know something or you trust your intuition. What do y'all need to know? Stand your power. Your emperor's coming, or this could be y'all in the emperor energy. I just feel like this is also y'all choosing to walk away from something. Have I'm mean, y'all seeing like standards, dignity, seven of wands, towers. Like when this tower moment hits, it's like I see you like protecting yourself. What are they? Six of wands, ace of pentacles. You want to be on top. You're going to be in the spotlight again. Like it says, you have very influential people watching you or celebrities or people that know people that know people. It's something that was like that that I'm hearing or people that you would just never expect. People that you would least expect because you shine so bright. And this is why people just especially lovers that kind of wanted you to feel some type of way about yourself or wanted to play mind games with you because they saw what path that you were on. Also, people, not just lovers, are friends because this could, three of cups energy could be like fake friends or this could be your masculine, but people that were just in your energy for the wrong fucking reasons, right? But you, that, or obviously, your masculine could have been going through that is what I'm saying. Hopefully, your masculine wasn't the one doing this, but I don't think they were. Some of y'all y'all have false masculines. False divine masculine. Six of Wands is recognition, fame, even public recognition. A lot of eyes on you. Okay. Uh, Ace of Pentacles because your stability is growing or something that you're doing here. Something that you could even be doing online, like that card said, your craft is going to be bringing you a lot of income. It's going to be bringing you a lot of stability. And somebody also, I just heard, hmm, I don't know why I just heard wants to add to that. Y'all could be talking to an earth sign, Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to add to that. They want to help you move into common waters and a peaceful transition. Somebody's name could be Darren or Stefan or Stephanie. Somebody's maybe pregnant. This Queen of Pentacles energy you could be an Earth sign or a Sagittarius, but um, congratulations. I, okay, spirit babies. I just heard somebody's gonna get married or somebody wanna. I just heard like man, four swords. Like yeah, something's gonna be very healing for you as well. Something that you do for work, some form of healing work. You could be a practitioner, a reader, spiritual guide. Just very spiritual, baby. Look. I can't make this up. The star card, the four of swords, and the six of swords. Very healing energy that you carry with you. This could be something that you do in a line of work that's very healing. And I feel like you should not give up or you should not stop this. Or your healing path or something like that is going to bring you a lot of success. Or something that you do even for your business, whether it's like a healing work or not. But it could be very healing for you. You could be worried about if this is the right thing for you. It is. Nine of pentacles. It is. You're going to be fine. I'm even hearing like with or without certain people because you're like, wait, wait on these blessings to come in too because they're coming, but be patient because you're going to win. Like you're going to get exactly what you've been manifesting. Trust, trust, love and basketball could be significant. <laughs> Lovers of choice and love could be significant. Gemini may be significant. You may be holding back from a lover. Yeah, or Capricorn may be significant. A toxic love situation. Because if they want to come out in reverse, you could be choosing to hold back. Because again, a fucking betrayal. Like, let's be for real. Same card is coming out. Seven of Swords. So if your intuition, somebody may be very like, I feel like this keeps coming out because you may be very, I just heard hard-headed. Or you may just need double proof because you have a hard time trusting your intuition. Especially if somebody was gaslighting you or trying to make you doubt yourself. This could be why this is coming out. But you are going to have your Ten of Pentacles. You are going to have that gift, that miracle that you've been manifesting into your life. But it may take you choosing a new path sweetheart because i feel like dealing with this person would only bring you more burdens or the same person that you've been feeling that you need to turn your back on it's going to bring you more pro uh, problems two of cups you do have a two of cups coming into your life it may be huh, maybe with a fire sign queen and queen of wands y'all saw the way that just came out two of cups i do feel like um somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards you this person been in heavy contemplation mode about that too but it's going to come maybe a taurus a virgo a aquarius but this person watching you, somebody is watching you. Also spiritually progress and also just progress in life. One more card to close this out. Eight of Wands. They're going to be communicating with you very soon, boo-boo. I feel like you have to make the conscious decision to leave something or someone out of your life so that the, the energy with that will of fortune could finally turn those cobwebs. It could turn in your favor. But it's like something's waiting on you. Ace of Wands. Something's ready to come in. King of Queen of Wands. Maybe y'all both are like fine as hell or like y'all both got a lot of passion for each other, a lot of fire. 
I am resigned. Anyway, <laughs> five of wands. Maybe a lot of a conflict surrounding you or a situation right now that is going to balance itself out. But I also feel like, baby, you got to make a decision. What? Four of wands. This may be a twin flame. All this fire. I'm, I could be speaking to fire signs or y'all just... I'm just going to do something I don't need to do. Four of y'all going to get married to this person. Four of wands, star card, but it's a ring. This is marriage. Eight of, you may work with this person, eight of pentacles, or you may, um, they may want to just work on things with you. Queen of pentacles. I'm talking to an earth sign. You see the way this keep coming out. I could be talking to an earth sign. It doesn't have to be, but also could be a fire sign because we had the king of queen of pentacles and now we have the king of queen of wands. So it could be like an earth and fire dynamic or two fire signs two earth signs i don't know baby take the energy where it resonates um but this is your ten of cups this is what you've been waiting on please be brave and choose to follow your heart listen to your intuition and choose love over temporary temporary like um satisfaction temporary shit that's making you feel safe but it's not really safe because it's not what's really for you you know what i'm saying a safety net empress Oof. Have your earth sign energy here. You could be speaking to a Taurus or a Libra. But you are the empress, baby. You're good. You're standing in your power. This is why you're calling in everything that's meant for you. You've taken your power back from a situation. Although maybe it was like really draining. Something that you've been waiting on again. I feel like also some of y'all person may have been watching y'all for a while. Or watching y'all go through something. Or some type of... Yeah. Devil energy. A Capricorn could be significant. Or something that you were dealing with that was toxic. Or very dark. Or draining. Or restricting. And they see that you made a way out. Capricorn or Taurus could be significant. Ace of Cups. But baby, look what I'm telling you. Ace of Cups. This is your person. This is your true love. This is what you're going to get because you did not give up. Because you still did the work. Because you still chose to love and have compassion. The lovers. And yes, it may have hurt at first. Ace of Swords. But it was for your alignment. It was for your betterment. It's going to even be you taking yourself out of the equation to heal something within yourself. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about self-reflection, 666, self-healing. Because it ain't always the masculine. That's the toxic one. Let's talk about it. But some of y'all, y'all know y'all needed to heal. Because some of y'all could have been the emotionally manipulative one. Or y'all could have been mirroring each other, you and your person. I don't know where that just came from. Take the energy where it resonates. But if you're wanting new love, because I do get the sense of somebody, this will be a new love that you're going to come into contact with that may have been taking a while to come in but you're going to get communication from this person very soon i don't want to come on out that's the end of that yeah thank y'all for watching this video so far if it resonated with you put a comment down below let me know how it resonated with you let me know how this really made you feel baby you got new love coming in that's going to express themselves to you i feel like this person is going to have no problem something about them having no problem showing you their emotions or showing you how they feel i just feel like this person has no problem taking it there either like to show you or to passion intimacy something about the intimacy between you and this person is going to be off the fucking chain it's about a taurus could be significant this card want to come out but it's gonna be off the chain king of swords queen of swords her co counterparts y'all keep coming out as counterparts or to be uh why do i always pull when i say i'm done pulling the world card somebody could be choosing to leave a connection or close out a connection judgment yep make a choice make a judgment to put their energy into something else i don't know 